All right, now for more insight, we're joined live by Mr. Matthew Broski, and he is a Middle East expert and senior analyst at Wikistrat. It's so nice to have you on Asia Today, Mr. Broski. Uh, we know that Israel and the U.S. have been at odds over quite a number of issues, and Iran is Good one man. of them. Intense negotiations have been going on for uh, a year and a half, and time is really running out. What will Netanyahu's re-election mean to this international effort? Well, unfortunately, the only thing, the only person who is marching out of sync when it comes to Iran is the White House and the president. If you look at the uh, polls, it really shows that the American public, the American Congress, the Israeli public, and the Israeli political parties from across the political spectrum, and that's whether Herzog had won last night or Netanyahu as it is, they all believe that what is coming down from the administration and the P5 plus 1 group is a very bad deal. It's 72% in Israel in a recent poll thought it would be a bad deal coming from Iran. There's a 59% unfavorable rating of Obama. Israel is viewed by contrast 70% favorable in the United States. So there, there's a, a butting of the heads here. And what Netanyahu did is when he came to Congress to give a speech, he delivered three alternatives or even more alternatives to what was currently being suggested by the White House. And that was there needs to be a verification system that's actually going to work. The sunset clause has to be something that's behavior based, not just based on an arbitrary setting of years as far as removing uh, removing any restriction from Iran enriching uranium, and there had to be a, uh, a cap on the amount of centrifuges that uh, Iran would be able to keep spinning. Otherwise, it would remain a threshold state, and it would put Iran on a path to becoming a nuclear, a nuclear power. So there's going to be a disagreement, and the disagreement will continue, and it's up to the U.S. Congress to act, because the, only, uh, the White House is in the way minority here is in thinking that this deal that they're pursuing would be good. All right, and now, Mr. Uh, Broski, what does Israel have to lose if it wants to, um, uh, if ties with the U.S. further deteriorate? And also, what will Netanyahu have to do if he wants to uh, secure trust with Israel's closest ally? Well, certainly uh, the Obama administration had to put the cork back in the champagne bottle once the uh, election results came in and it appears that Netanyahu has won. Now, the U.S.-Israel relationship will endure. It is far stronger uh, than these two individuals. So that will go on. It, it actually will be determined more by the U.S. elections in 2016. Netanyahu, if he f uh, finishes this term in office, will still be the prime minister of Israel when Obama leaves office. Um, there's a lot of broken trust on the political level, even though the ties in security and defense are very, are very tight. The name-calling from the White House, uh, dispatching senior aides to say nasty things about, about Netanyahu, is, hasn't been befitting of a president or an ally of, of Israel. The V-15, the group that Obama sent over, the White House sent over, his former campaign staff to Israel to campaign against Netanyahu. Again, doing this while saying he couldn't meet with Netanyahu uh, when he came in to, to speak to Congress because it would be too close to the Israeli election. This maneuver is now being investigated by a congressional panel, a bipartisan congressional panel. So there's been a lot of rancor that's on the political level uh, between the Obama administration and Netanyahu. I don't see that improving, at least on the surface. But the, the good news is that there's still strong bipartisan support in Congress, and it still is in the United States and Israeli interest to have a strong relationship, and that will endure despite uh, the misgivings of the White House. Well, Mr. Matthew Broski, speaking to us from Washington, D.C., thank you so much for your insight. You've been watching Ada Today on CCTV News. Stay with us.